Jacobs, and my friend Stuffy Singer and I are going to show you how to play handball. Handball, one of the oldest games in the history of sports. It's believed that a game similar to handball was played by the Egyptians more than 4,000 years ago. Later, the Romans played a game like handball called pelota. However, our modern game of handball was invented centuries later by a group of Irishmen. After its exposure in the old country, handball was introduced here in the United States by an Irishman, Phil Casey. He became the first world champion. His tremendous talent and genuine interest brought handball a popular following. In fact, Abe Lincoln was fond of the sport as a form of exercise and competition. But the first invitational tournament was held only in 1915, and that was by the Detroit Athletic Club. This competition helped a great deal to create national interest in the game. And later, the YMCA's and the AAU did the same. This film was made in line with this program and in conjunction with the United States Handball Association for the purpose of providing schools, clubs, players, and coaches with a needed audio-visual aid to illustrate the basic fundamentals of handball. The cast includes Jim Jacobs, one of the greatest players handball ever produced, six times national singles champion, and many times national doubles champion. and Stuffy Singer, a fine representative of our younger generation and winner of the World Single Championship in 1967 in Toronto, Canada. Handball is a great sport for developing and maintaining physical fitness, and it presents a real challenge to its participants. It provides players of all ages with a wonderful opportunity to develop and maintain strength, endurance, agility, and coordination. Handball has been considered a better overall conditioner than almost any other sport. And this overall conditioning is accomplished through running, bending, twisting, flexing, and extending the arms during a game. In almost every sport, proper equipment is necessary for safe and correct play. The basic equipment for handball consists of, first, handball gloves, which should fit snugly. Second, a handball. Third, a gym suit, preferably white. Colored uniforms used in this film are solely for the purpose of better identification. Fourth, tennis shoes. To ensure maximum safety, a player should change his uniform as soon as it becomes wet to prevent slippery floors. And, of course, a handball court with the official size of 40 by 20 by 20. Since handball consists of a constant series of moves, hard turns and twists, fast starts and stops, a warm-up period is essential. The length and intensity of this warm-up is highly individual. Wherever possible, the player should get set for each shot. Body positioning is all important. Let's listen to what Jacobs has to say on this subject. Basically, one of the things that you must not do when you hit a handball is face the front wall. The wrong way is this way. This or this. The right way to hit a handball is to face the side wall and to hit the ball like this or like this. When hitting the ball, the arm motion is the same as throwing a baseball, and the hand is held in a cup position. The serve is the strongest offensive weapon. This is the only time a player can bounce the ball and hit it wherever he chooses. The serve demonstrated here is a natural hop. When served by a right-hander like this, the ball jumps to the opponent's left 
after hitting the floor and back of the short line. In order to achieve this, the player gives the ball a strong clockwise spin by hitting it so that his hand passes between the ball and his body. Now this serve is more easily perfected because a natural motion of the arm and hand is used when applying the spin. Like this. Observe the correct motion and follow through by Jacobs. This serve is a reverse hop. Now here, as you can see, when served by a right-hander, the ball jumps to the opponent's right after hitting the floor in back of the short line. To accomplish this hop, the hand passes on the outside part of the ball, giving it a strong counterclockwise spin. Because of this spin, the ball hops in the opposite direction from the natural. Here is the correct hand position. Then a perfect motion and follow through. Another basic serve is the lob serve. And the lob should hit the front wall high, contact the floor close to the short line, and then bounce high to the opponent's weak side, as close to the wall as possible. The ball is hit in the following manner. After contacting the hand, the ball rolls up the fingers and comes off the fingertips with a relaxed motion. A three-wall serve is a very effective weapon if executed correctly. Now here, the server stands close to a side wall. The ball hits the front wall near the opposite side wall, and it'll come out diagonally with the needed spin, bounces across the short line, hits the other side wall, and comes out almost parallel to the back wall. Now remember, this serve should hit two side walls, hitting the second side wall as close to the back wall as possible. It should always be hit hard. The server must remember to move away from the side wall at once after the serve to be in position for the next shot. In order to win a game of handball, a player must maintain the front court position. Therefore, a proper return of serve is vital. The best shot to accomplish this is a ceiling shot. When properly executed, the ball is hit softly to the ceiling about one to four feet from the front wall. Then it hits the front wall on the way down, bounces high toward the rear of the court where it drops almost straight down and dies close to the back wall. It should be hit as close to the side wall as possible. It could be executed with an underhand swing or with an overhand swing like this. Developing the weak arm so that it can carry its proper load in a balanced game requires good instruction and practice. That was my left hand, which is actually my weak arm. Uh, whenever a handball player starts playing in a court, he simply goes in and plays with his strong arm, most of them are right-handed, and develops it. But the difficult thing in handball is to develop a left arm. And the way I did it, and the way you might try, is I got in front of a full-length mirror, and I noticed, I watched the way I hit the ball right-handed like this. And then I imitated the swing by looking into the mirror and swinging like this. Once I developed my left hand swing, then I took my swing into a handball court and tried to hit the ball. Here is how Singer perfected it. Shots that the opponent hits too high or hard make excellent setups for kills off the back wall. Since the back wall shot is extremely important to the offense, the shot should be practiced regularly. Let's hear Jacobs tell how this shot should be done. That was the right way to hit a back wall shot. The reason it was the right way is because when the ball came off the back wall, I permitted the ball to come by my body and drop, and I hit the ball in here. And as a result, by hitting it low, it went low in the front wall. Of course, there is a wrong way to take a ball off the back wall. And the wrong way is when the ball comes off the back wall to reach back and grab it and pull it through your body. That would be the wrong way, and many beginners do that. The right way is like this. 
Here are some excellent demonstrations of Singer on back wall kills. When back wall kill shots are not feasible because the opponent occupies the front court position or you're unable to get in position to take the ball low, back wall hook shots are used. It's a difficult shot and recommended for more advanced players. A corner kill is a perfect shot when the opponent is caught out of position to one side. The ball should be hit with a sidearm swing. Coming off the second wall, it should be as low as a front wall kill and should roll away to the opponent's weak side. Which wall the ball hits first totally depends on the opponent's court position. It may be hit on the fly or on the bounce, like this. One of the most colorful basic shots is the front wall kill. When it is executed properly, it hits the front wall very low and rolls back, giving no chance to the opponent to pick it up. When a shot is made by hitting the ball in midair before it contacts the floor, it is called a fly shot. The player may hit a kill shot, pass shot, or defensive shot on the fly. An alert player will always look for an opportunity to hit the ball on the fly. The quickness of the return keeps the opponent off balance and makes him work extremely hard. The fly kill may be directed to the front wall or to the corner. One of the most commonly used shots in handball is the passing shot. When executed properly, the ball comes off the front wall and passes a charging opponent. Usually it will hit one side wall and die in the back court. It should not come off the back wall. As we said before, playing handball is fun. But in order to play it well, the player must learn the correct shots. That means practice and the right instruction. The player must also learn the strategy of the game. And some of the most important elements of strategy are first, keep your position in the front court by keeping your opponent in the rear and running. 99% of all games are won by the player who occupies and keeps the front court position. Next, be sure to mix up the type and speed of your serves. This keeps the opponent off balance and adjusting his timing constantly. Next, anticipate your opponent's shots. Watch your opponent's motions to determine where he'll hit the ball, and you can be there waiting. Next, try to get set before hitting the ball. If you wait and hit every shot on the run, you'll not be able to hit the ball exactly where you want it. You cannot kill the ball when it should be killed and where. Game strategy for doubles is different than singles. The most important factor here is good teamwork. Here, Robert Kendler, President, and Joe Shane, National Commissioner of USHA, along with Jacobs and Singer, give a demonstration of a game of doubles to a large audience in Southern California. These pairings show how handball can be enjoyed by persons of all ages. Once on the court, competition, vigor, and sportsmanship takes over. And that makes handball a truly great American sport. Yeah.